Nigeria is today marking its 53rd anniversary as an independent nation. Well, on the 1st of October 1960, Nigeria gained its independence from the United Kingdom. Nigeria's government was a coalition of conservative parties, the Nigerian People's Congress, that's the NCP, the National Council of Nigeria and the Cameroons, NCNC, led by Namdi Azikiwe, who became Nigeria's maiden governor general in 1960. And former the opposition was the Action Group, that's the AG, which was led by Chief Obafemi Awulawo. On this historic day, the president has been speaking about wide-ranging issues as the nation looks back at how it has fared five decades and three years later. One of the greatest expectations of every Nigerian on Independence Day is to hear the president speak on pertinent national issues. And this happened again in the early hours of today. The president began by raising hope about the future of Nigeria and better days ahead. If we look back over the years, we can say confidently that there is every reason to celebrate. Today offers us an opportunity to reflect on our long journey to nationhood and the progress we have made so far. Whatever the challenges that we may face, we have every reason to be proud of our national accomplishments. We have every reason to remain proud and optimistic. Despite the President's expression of optimism, He's not pleased with the terrorist activities in the northeastern part of the country, particularly the gruesome murder of students who were fast asleep at the College of Agriculture in Yobe State. He says those behind it will certainly be brought to justice. This act of barbarism is a demonstration of the extent to which evil forces will go to destabilize our nation. But I assure you, they will not succeed. The president also used the broadcast to address the call by many groups, civil rights organizations, and indeed other Nigerians on the need to convoke a national conference. Fellow Nigerians, our administration has taken cognizance of suggestions over the years by well meaning Nigerians on the need for a national dialogue on the future of our beloved country. In demonstration of my avowed belief in the positive power of dialogue in charting the way forward, we have decided to set up an advisory committee whose mandate is to establish the modalities for a national dialogue or conference. The committee will be chaired by Dr. Femi Okrumo while Dr. Akilo Indabawa will serve as the secretary. The full membership of the committee will be announced shortly. I expect the report to be ready in one month, following which the nation will be briefed on the nomenclature, structure, and modalities of the dialogue. The president's speech ended with a strong commitment and rededication to the service of the country. On my part, I rededicate myself completely to the service of this great country. He believes the spirit of Nigeria should be rekindled to ensure that every Democrat and every lover of peace in Nigeria continues to live in a free and secure nation. Ayotunde Balogun reporting for Channels Television News.